In the 911 audio obtained by TMC, the caller remains calm as they take orders from the dispatcher after Demi was reportedly found unconscious in her bed following a night partying in West Hollywood. As the dispatcher tells the female on the phone, thought to be the singer's assistant, that the ambulance was close to her mansion and they would soon hear sirens, she asks if they could be shut off, presumably to avoid neighbors becoming aware of the situation. I am going to remain on the line with you until the paramedics arrive, okay? The dispatcher explains. Okay, we just need someone to flag them down, right? Yeah, please, and if you could gather any medications, if she's on any that would be helpful. And if you have any family pets, put them in a room. He then tells her she should be hearing the sirens real soon. No sirens, please, right? She responds. However, the dispatcher tells her it's not possible because it's an emergency. No, 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 this is a medical emergency. I don't have control over that. I'm sorry about that. According to TMZ, Demi had invited friends back to her Hollywood Hills home in the early hours of Tuesday morning following a night out on the Sunset Strip to celebrate the birthday of one of her backup dancers. They say an assistant of Demi's became concerned when she hadn't come out of her bedroom by 11 a.m. and went up to her room to try and wake her but found her unresponsive. The website reports that Demi was still unconscious when paramedics arrived. Read more more on Demi Lovato. After being told that Demi was partying all night, paramedics determined she had suffered an overdose and administered Narcan, an antidote to opioid odds, the source claims. It was suspected at the time that she may have suffered from a heroin overdose, but family sources have since denied she uses the drug. The cool for the summer singer, who was sober for six years before relapsing, is now expected to head back into rehab once she's released from hospital. Just weeks before her shock overdose, it's believed she had fired her sober coach, Mike Bayer, who had been supporting her through recovery. Mike worked with Demi for six years and appeared in her documentary, Simply Complicated.